hi everyone welcome back to flourish tt where we come to learn grow and flourish in our hair journey sorry i was i was unable to um upload last week based on my busy schedule but remember i always upload wednesday and friday at 5 p.m today our topic is about the science of hair what is hair why is our hair curled this way what is density and everything that involves hair I believe that when to understand what to use on your hair, how to maintain your hair, you have to know what the properties of hair is. Hair is a simple structure that has a very important social functioning in the society, not only through the society, but also as an individual expression as well. Hair is made of a tough protein called keratin. Uh, hair follicle anchors hold each hair into the skin. I believe that the follicle represents the root of the hair. Without the root of the hair holding tight to the skin, your hair falls off. The hair bob forms the base of the hair follicles. The hair bob I consider also as the soil of the hair. The follicle lies within the hair bob, which gives it nutrients. Then it comes out, as you see, as the hair shaft. The hair shaft is the ones that we curl, the ones that we color, the ones that we braid, and we show off with. Each hair follicle has their own blood vessel. That's why your diet is very important. Whatever you eat is transmitted into your hair and come through. There are three structures of hair, the cuticle, the cortex, and the medulla. As you can see here, the medulla is the innermost section. The cortex is after that and the cuticle is the outer layer. The medulla is the innermost layer, as I said before. It's not present in all hair. Mostly you'll find it in uh, coarse hair and Asian hair. And then sometimes me um, medium-sized hair, but you will not find it in fine hair. It has nothing to do with uh, how your hair responds to chemical, but it enhances your hair color to shine through. The cortex, which is the most complex part of the hair, it contains protein, or uh, hydrogen, salt bond, the sulfur, and is very important for perming, straightening, and any chemical processing. It's also responsible for the strength and flexibility of the hair and contains the pigment melanin that gives the hair all the color. The brown you see, the yellow you see, the blue you see, whatever color that you added, the pigment helps it to generate those colors. The hair cuticles is composed of five to 10 overlapping layers. When it's healthy, it's very smooth and lays flat. When it's not healthy, it absorbs everything that is unnecessary, causing the hair to damage. So you have to be very careful in affecting the cuticles because when the cuticles is not healthy, your hair start to break and never to return. Density and hair texture, the two most uh, confusing aspects of hair. What is the density and what is a hair texture? What does the density stand for? Hmm, I don't know. What does hair texture stand for? Hmm, I don't know. So let's go into it. Hair density is the amount of hair strength per square inch on your scalp. Some people may have a very thick hair strength of texture, but they are density on the hair is less so as the picture below showing that's how the density represents on our scalp everyone do not have the same density not neither do they have the same textures on their hair it always interconnect in some way texture texture refer to the degree of thickness of each actual hair strand how do you know the, the, the thickness of your hair? Do the threading comparison, which is you take the thread, whatever size the thread feels like, that's medium. Whatever size that is less than the thread, that's fine hair. Whatever size that is bigger than the thread, that's thick hair. That's how you find out if your hair is fine, medium, or thick. Fine hair is the most fragile hair out there. It needs special care. 
and it can also absorb products so quickly so you have to be careful in how you deal with it it's very hard to style because when you're trying to create curls it drops quickly and it's very hard to create volume because of how thin it is but not to fret there's always ways in which you can go around with your fine hair that can give you the desired result that you want medium hair is the most common hair texture out there it generally does not require a lot of work you just have to make sure you maintain a bit of cautious because as much as it's easy to style and easy to absorb stuff that can also affect you overdoing it and that causes your hair to break thick hair is the thickest of all hair as you, as you can see coarse textures um, is very hard to absorb moisture it's hard to get damaged but again do not think that because you're invisible at this moment that you overdo your hair when you overdo it you end up learning the hard way hair porosity what is hair porosity every day we hear your porosity your porosity why is it so confusing to understand why 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 uh, hair porosity is just a definition of how quickly your hair absorbs moisture so all the product you have bought how quickly does it absorb into your hair to understanding what your porosity is you able to limit your access to buying too much excessive amount of product because when you know your porosity you're able to limit yourself which means you're saving which means you are giving your hair the right nutrients that is needed high porosity stands by the name high that means you have high moisture absorption um it can be inherited or it can be caused by chemicals and environmental environmentally as well it has a holes and gaps in the cuticles which allows so many moisture to enter which create and freeze and create uh tangling and all of that especially when what is absorbing is not the right product that is absorbing that's why with high porosity you have to have a lot of heavier butters some three layers of of butter so that your hair do not the, the product that you put in do not escape quickly low porosity means low absorption of moisture so no matter if you take heavier butters like this or even or the like castor oil and apply it to your hair because your cuticle is a low porosity you end up having build up over your hair because what your hair to not absorb quickly that's why you need to get stuff that that are very lightweight like rose hip oil like jojoba oil like coconut or like anything that will literally penetrate your hair and applying heat to your hair is necessary because then that helps to lift up the cuticles for the hair to absorb the rightful nutrients as i said before it also prone to build up so you try to avoid anything that is too heavy you can use it you can use heavy product when you're doing treatment but when you are just applying it to leave in you prefer to use something lighter with everything in life there's always a growth cycle we were born we turn into babies we turn into teenagers and adulthood and then we get old and we pass on so it's the same with hair there's the beginning stage which is the allergen stage which most things grow it lasts up to six to seven years with in that first stage you're able to manipulate able to create uh, do a lot of treatment and product and apply product to at least grow your hair to the desired length that you want because it lasts for six to seven years then the second phase which is nothing not everything stopped growing it stopped producing because it's getting ready to what transit into falling off but the main stage is the beginning stage which is the growth stage if you're able to nourish your hair care for your hair then for the six to seven years you already have the desired hair that you love you love then as a falling off you don't have too much problem to worry about and all hair do not fall at the same time one hair may fall today but after that another will fall another time if our hair fall together we all will be bald head 
here's a picture showing you what it means by the beginning the collagen and then the telogen and then we start all over again curl pattern as a confused as hair texture and density is that's how the curl pattern is did you know that the follicle turns out to be the major determinant of how hair texture turns out to be if uh if you look at the follicles when it's growing sometimes it's from the root is straight that means you have straight hair if it's wavy it's been a bit if it's curly then it has more bend width as it comes out and because when it comes out when it's too curly that's when the hair is prone to dry especially for afro hair or curly hair we have such a tall curls the oil the natural oil from the scalp to not germinate up because wherever it starts whenever it starts to grow up the curl stops it so wherever this bend is the way we have problem of absorbing and there where is the weakest so if you don't care for your hair whenever your hair grows it breaks that's why you see a lot of curlier hair don't grow longer because what if you neglect it your hair will drop off wherever there is no moisture or strength for it to stand and grow here is a picture showing how the hair grow from the from the roots now you get a clear picture all hair is the same they have the same property they have they are built in with the same protein system a straight hair is not better than a curly hair a curly hair might have a bit work to do but that doesn't mean a straight or wavy hair is better than a curly or kinky hair it's just how it was grown out there it's the same saying that oh having a darker skin or lighter a lighter skin is better than a darker skin no it's not everyone is important they are value it comes in a different way to show that we are we all do not need to be the same but we can embrace our differences here another picture of showing how the curl is so the more bent the hair is from the root that's how your hair comes out and yeah i will die for see here we defy graffiti that is magic within itself and we are going to go talk mostly about curly hair and kinky hair because that's the most difficult part within australia we don't have we don't understand what product to use we don't understand where to get it from how to get it and all of that i was just showing this so that you can understand the full property the foundational property of the hair so then we can get into what to use and how to use it a little recap today we're talking about what is hair as as much as it's important the structure of hair the density and texture as well as porosity and growth cycle in understanding these topics you're able to then now sit and realize okay because i know this about my hair i know how to feed my hair i know how to grow my hair and even if it doesn't grow i know how to maintain my hair so if you think this information was informative please comment below if you have thought here about this before but now you have more clear understanding comment below as well share like to whoever that needs to hear this and know how to take care of the hair we are we are here to grow together learn together i will post every wednesday and friday at 5 pm please do not forget to hit the notification button to remind you of every time i put videos up have a nice and wonderful day thank you See ya.